Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I am back with session two of the Less Hustle, More Jesus devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and Day Spring. Here's a look at my mini book that I've been looking through. And I'm going to use the card, the session two card, um, as a template for my entry today. So I can go ahead and just pop it out of my mini book. That's the nice thing about having those little binder rings. And then I'm using this stamp set here. This is a much older stamp set from Illustrated Faith. It is no longer available. I have not been able to find any stores that still carry it. Um, and so I'm sorry about that. I just, I like it and I have it so I'm gonna use it. But I will link down below for you guys um, several other stamp sets that have feathers in them. Uh, so you can recreate this page if you want to. So. I am just laying the card underneath the Bible page and I'm going to use that to trace these kind of watercolor um, wording here. And I'm using my Neo Color 2 crayons today and I went ahead and took a bunch of them that match the kit and I just scribbled out some pigment on the top of this uh, photo box that I keep my Neo Color 2s in. You could just scribble it out on anything that's a uh, non-porous surface. And then I can use it like a paint palette just by using my wet paintbrush or my aqua brush in this to add some water to the pigment and turn it into paint. And then I can trace over that lettering on the card. Super simple. I wanted to show you, I have a lot of questions about um, watercolors and what watercolors I tested and, and that kind of thing. And so I wanted to show you with Neocolor 2 crayons, you can use them like watercolors in fashion. And this is great for traveling. You could swatch them out onto something like this and take them with you. So I just thought it'd be fun to kind of show you a different way to use the Neo 2 crayons. And if you head on over to my blog, I will have a picture of the swatches of the color I pulled to match the kit um, if you're wondering what I picked up there. But uh, I am working in Psalm 9 and the verse is verse 2 on the card, but if you actually need to read a little bit further down to kind of go with the card. Um, this statement under his wings isn't in verse two. So I'm going to read all the way down to verse four. Uh, so it's 91, two through four in Psalms. It says, I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, or your translations, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. And so here we are talking about um, God being our refuge, and um, the devotional card is prompting us to talk about some times that we take time out to find refuge in God. And I journaled this page several times. Every Bible just about that I've done in, uh, or I've journaled in, I've done this uh, entry here. And probably three out of five Bibles now I've used this stamp set. <laughs> so it's it's a good one. But like I said, I will link some alternative uh, stamp sets down below for you guys so you can find that. Or you can just sketch them out or um, find an image online and print it and trace it. That um, Any of those will work. I'm just trying to be more intentional about using the products that I have in my stash even if they are no longer available to you guys um, that doesn't mean that they can't be used uh, so it's them and so I'm just playing around with where to stamp these um, around this I want to leave myself some room to journal a short little prayer and I kind of left all of in so you could see how I struggle figuring out placement so I get these first two down and then I fiddle a lot <laughs> so you can see and things don't always come naturally to me I don't just look at it stick things down and it's good to go there's a lot of this kind of trying stuff out playing around um, and normally I cut that out of the footage for the sake of time um, I know some people would love to watch an hour-long video but 90% of you don't want to see a 90 or like an hour video of me testing products, cutting things out, drying things, all of that. So that's why I edit some of that out. But I am stamping in Versifying Onyx Black Ink. This is a permanent ink once it's dry. I have not prepped my page, so this will bleed through a little bit, um, but that's okay. It's not too bad. And Neo Color 2s don't bleed through. So I'm just going to go in and I've added a drop of water to one of the colors that I've scribbled out up there. 
and then I can just pick up the pigment and use it like watercolor. Now, the less water that you use, the thicker the pigment is and more pigmented it is, <laughs> obviously, because you're not dilutant. Um, but you can add more water to it to kind of thin it out. And that's kind of why I like using the uh, aqua brush, just a regular brush. This particular brush, the barrel of it is filled with water. So there's constantly a little bit of a flow of water coming from the brush. And it just makes it a little bit easier to work with when you're doing something like this, when you're coloring in an image. I'm not dealing with a dry brush or a brush that's getting dry as I use it. I don't know. You just got to kind of experiment and figure out what works best for you. But I love that I can just lay all the colors out ahead of time and then be able to go in and pick them up as I need them. Um, you With Neo Color 2 crayons, you could also go and color this in with a dry crayon, just like coloring with a crayon, and then activate it with your brush. That works fine too. Um, but I don't know. I just wanted to play with this like I would a watercolor palette. I am coloring this in kind of in rainbow order. There is lots of rainbow in this kit this month, and so I wanted to use that color palette in its entirety through my entries just so I can see that they all go together, that they're all from the same kit. Uh, I am still trying to get my mojo with this kit. I don't know that I've gotten it yet, but we'll see. I still have a few more, so we'll see what happens. Um, for this one, I'm going reverse because these smaller feathers, all of the colors in them, and so I thought I'd go from the blues to reds on this one just so I get a little more blue in there. I don't know. Just just winging it. Just getting some rainbow down. I actually, rainbow, I, and this is going to probably get, uh, I'm not a big rainbow fan, rainbow color fan. I know there are some people in the Bible journaling community that that is their jam, rainbow everything, rainbow decor, rainbow paint rainbow all the things um but that's not really my palette i don't know i like kind of softer more pastel which i guess you could do a pastel rainbow but i don't know i just i haven't gotten on the rainbow train sorry guys but <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying with this kit uh, once i got all those colored in i dried the paint and then now i'm taking a fine black tick marker or black tip pen i mean and going in and filling in the center parts of the feather the quill part I guess and then now I'm adding just some black splatters and really just keeping it very uh, simple these entries do not have to be super elaborate crazy entries um, they can just be stamping and coloring and that's it um, and as far as the title the under his wing easily find free fonts um, I think fontsquirrel.com I will link that down below you can get free fonts and then just print out your title and trace it that's the nice thing about Bible pages is that they are fairly see-through and so you can easily trace things as I flip this over here, you can kind of see there's some shadowing from my stamping and the Neo colors, but not real bleed through. It'll be pretty easy to cover that up. Now I'm going to create a little fabric tab. This is something else I've been doing with it. Um, since I use these fabrics in my mini book, I've been trying to pull them out and use them in the entries as well to tie everything together. So I'm going to create a little fabric tab. Uh, tab here. I will link a video down below. It's called All About Did It, gosh, over a year ago now. It's a pretty old video of mine, um, but I have several different ways to make tabs, and so that is a really great video um, if you're wanting to see how to make different fabric clippies, and um, there's some paper tabs and all kinds of fun things in that video, so I'll be sure to link that down below for you guys, but uh, I'm just going to make a little tassel tab and cut these a little bit short. Now I ended up did uh, switching out this particular uh, paper clip after I filmed. This is one of the smaller paper clips and it was too small. So I recommend using jumbo paper clips. Um, they just seem to hold on to the page a little better. I did go ahead and add some washi tape to the top as well as the bottom, but the top of the page specifically so that when I use my tab clip, it doesn't tear up. That washi tape kind of strengthens the page. Here I'm using up some of the cardstock stickers that come in the kit. I'm going to pull out the word Fetty and spell out faithful love around this uh, little tab that I have up there. And my goal is to try to use up as much of this kit as possible by the end of it. On the back side of the tab where the stickiness is exposed, I'm just using my EK Success powder tool and to take away any of the stickiness. And I'll do some journaling off camera, just a short little prayer. 
And that is it for the entry today. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. If you're looking for the products mentioned today, check out the description box as well as over on my blog. I have links to everything that I talk about in my videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.